We've all been there. You're scrolling through social media or looking at designer magazines and you want to get these looks in your own home, but you have no idea how to do that. Well, get your pen and paper ready because today we are here with Hilary Matt, interior designer, and she's going to break it all down for us. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for coming. I have so many questions for you. Here's the thing. When we think about doing our homes as a whole, for people like me, like it's really overwhelming, but this is what you do for a living. Yeah. What do you suggest? Like, where do we start? So I think that there's a few key places in the house that you should focus on. One of them being a console table. It's the first thing you see when you walk in the door. So the way that I like to style a console table is I like to pick a signature scent. So this candle is one that I love. So I light it when people come over. It always smells delicious. Um, and then what I like to do on a day-to-day -day basis is I use dried flowers here because then I don't have to deal with it. And then when people come over, I'll switch it for fresh flowers. But it's no fuss and it always looks good. And then I stack coffee table books. I change it probably monthly with books that I like and that I'm inspired by. And then this catch-all gets a lot of use. We throw our keys in it, we throw mail, and it's nice. But and it looks so much better yeah, with when your it's keys empty. in there, right? Yeah, exactly. So I asked you to focus on areas that everybody has in their home. So we all have an entryway yep. and we all have a coffee table. Yeah. So coffee tables is the perfect place to style, I think, and I feel like people get nervous about doing the right thing. The way that I like to style a coffee table is I pick my favorite coffee table books and I stack them in multiple places. So the way I did it here, again, like I did before, I stack biggest on the bottom to smallest on the top. And then here is sort of like a neutral styling that I did, but I picked my favorite books. And what I do is I face all the bindings towards the couch. So when you're sitting there, you can actually see what books there are, which I think is nice. And it's a good conversation piece. Another thing that I always do is this is a remote control box. Oh, you're concealing yeah, the Yeah, so it's not ugly. And also you never lose it because we seem to do that a lot in this house. It has a home. Yes. And I, I love that things are contained. Yeah, this is actually, we keep matches in here from our favorite restaurant then we always have them available when we want to light a candle, which I always have candles on the coffee table. Okay, so another area, this is for the mamas, the kids' room, but yes. specifically we're gonna do the bookshelf. And this is this is a modern take on yeah. the bookshelf that we all had as kids. Exactly. I feel like in the city, especially in small apartments, these wall hanging shelves are amazing because they don't take up a lot of space and they always look cute. I pick books that they read all the time and I put them sort of at their level so they can reach them and grab them. Another thing I like to do is things that they collect. So my son collects these bare bricks, so I like to put them here. And then some cool art. I always love leaning art on shelves. I think it's a cool thing to do. I'm getting so many good ideas right now. So many good ideas. And I can't wait to do them at my home. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>